you know, I'm a believer that change has to come from inside of a person. And while we may try in classes to, to give out information to people, we try to do it in such a way that they arrive at a conclusion on their own. The first question that we ask them in the Writing Straight module is, what are the two primary effects of alcohol? And of course the answer is it diminishes visual capabilities and alters good judgment. Throughout the course we have been asking them, is riding a motorcycle safely more at scale of the eyes and mind or hands and feet? When they, when they see that answer, altering good judgment, making it harder to think, impairing your mind, and diminishing visual capabilities, making it harder to see, you can see a light bulb go on. We ask how many in the class own weapons. Typically it's not uncommon for everybody to raise their hand. And we'll ask questions along the line of, would you drink a six pack of beer or a half uh, bottle of Jack Daniels and then clean your weapon? Nobody ever says, sure. Uh, what you get is, well, that's stupid. Part of the writing straight uh, module involves intervention. And you know, they have discovered through research over the years that the most effective way to intervene is to get numbers of people involved. So we usually ask the students, have you ever had to intervene to stop someone from drinking and riding? In every class, there are a large number of people that have done that, and very often it involves physical restraint. Uh, we get many stories of uh, guys telling us of wrestling people to the ground, taking their keys, groups of women getting together and hurting a guy or another woman away from the bar and just trying to sit them and engage them in conversation. Clearly people know that this is probably not a good thing to do, but the peer pressure involved in it is so great right now and it's so ingrained in, ingrained in the motorcycling culture that this is going to be a hard nut to crack. There are many old line bikers out there uh, who will swear up and down that it makes them more relaxed and a better rider and you're not going to convince them until unfortunately something happens in their own life that makes the light come on. There are things like the I Ride for Tomorrow initiative that is on the looklearnlive.org website that we encourage people to do and that is to take a look at that and make a public commitment. Uh, we have brought that out to our, our students in our classes, encourage them to do it and we're also encouraging them to spread the word to the other motorcyclists in their life. Again, it's uh, to hearken back to my background as a preacher's kid. Uh, getting somebody to spread the word uh, reinforces it in their life and makes them think twice about going back on their commitment.